Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce the built-in simulator function of R16F receiver. R16F comes with built-in PC game joystick communication program. So you can play simulator just by collecting the type support of R16F to the computer. And R16F supports open source simulators such as TRYP FPV, Aerofly, OnCrashed, LiftOff, FPV Logic, Velocidrone, and so on. Both Windows and Mac computer can be used. And here are the steps to use the built-in simulator function of R16F. First, please update the firmware of R16F to version 1.7 or above. Here is reading link official site. Receiver, R16F. Firmware. You can download the latest firmware of R16F on Redlink official website and check the tutorial on how to update the firmware here. And I have already updated the firmware of this R16F to the latest version. Second, bind R16F to the compatible transmitter. R16F is compatible with lots of Redlink transmitters, and I take TAFB as an example. Here is the Type-C cable and I click it to the Type-C port of R16F. And plug the other end to the computer. And I don't need to collect any battery to R16F. Power on TFB. I have already bound this R16F to this TFB, but I will show you how to bind them. Long press the bending button on the side of R16F and the LED flashes fast. The LED goes solid when the bending is complete. Now you can also open parameter adjustment app of TAFB. We can see the RSS vendor here, which means the bending is successful. Third, collect R16F to the computer and play simulator on the computer. And I have already used the Type-C keyboard to collect R16F to the computer. The using methods are similar for all simulator software. We use OnCrash the simulator as an example. It has already been installed on my computer. Here it is. You can also download the simulator software online. Open it. Click Options. I move the joystick, there is bar movement. There is also a long RF, which means the receiver is recognized. The stick mode of this TAFB is stick mode 2, so I need to select mode 2 here. And then we need to calibrate the joystick. Click Alter to calibrate each stick and then follow the instructions. Throttle. Roll. Pinch. Go. And pay attention if the movement of the stick is opposite to the bar movement here, and please click invert here to modify the movement direction of the bar movement, and then click stick calibration. Move all sticks to the limits. Center all the sticks and press OK. And move the stick. You can see all the sticks work well. So that means the stick calibration is down. And by the way, here is a reset. You can assign switch to restore the drone to the original flight condition when there is a crash and click Auto. Push switch A up and down. That means you can use switch A to reset the drone when there is a crash. And here is the flight mode. Click Auto and push switch B up and down. So that means you can use switch B to switch the flight modes given the flight. And here are some other setting menus such as graphics. Gameplay audio, rates, and drone settings. You can set all these settings according to your needs. Now let's play it single player. Choose the thing you like. 
such as Arctic Island. Wait for the loading and push the throttle down. And push throttle up. Then you can fly it. And during the flight, you can use switch B to switch the flight modes. I throw. Angle. And 3D. When there is a crash, you can also use switch A to reset the draw. So that's all about the built-in simulator function of R16F receiver.